Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. How are you today? Hello, Elisa. Hello, Miguel. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, Saul. Good evening, sir. Hello, Daisy. Hello, Christina. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? Fine, teacher. Excellent, excellent. Is everybody ready for your class? Is it raining in your area? How's the weather? Where do you live? No, teacher, in my area, not not raining, but um, now it's uh, cloudy. Oh, okay. It's cloudy, but no rain. Yes, right. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, get started. We're going to be looking at the first section for today, which is coming from the platform. We're going to be looking at where it says gerunds and infinitives. Are you familiar with gerunds and infinitives? Yes, teacher. Uh, can you give me an example of in what situation you use gerunds and infinitives? For example, if you say, I love to eat pizza, that's an infinitive. Or if you say, I love eating pizza, that's an infinitive. I mean, that's a gerund. Can you give me another example? I'm sorry, what was the question? Uh, give me an example with an infinitive and a gerund. Uh, well, uh, one example of the gerund would be when you said something, uh, I start working on this uh, because the word start, then the next verb will have to be followed by uh, plus ing. So it, it would be working in that case. And right. infinity is when you use two instead of ing form. Mm -hmm. That is correct. For example, if you say, uh, I like to read or I like reading. Those are some examples. Okay. Um, we're going to do some conversation questions just to get started. Um, what's a question you would ask somebody that you just met? What would be a question? Uh, maybe where do you live? How do you, how, uh, what do you do for a living? Hmm. Okay. All right. We're going to look at a couple of questions right now for us to just practice, just to get started and get started talking. Let me see. I'm going to share the questions with you on the chat. Uh, okay, everybody listen and repeat. What's the best thing that happened to you this month? What is something you're tired of? What is something that you, that recently moved you? But in this context, it's not speaking about moving, like moving something physically. It's more like moving you uh, in your heart, 
or spiritually? Um, the next question, if you could teach one subject in school, what would it be? Another one is, what's your favorite beverage? What is your favorite cake? What is your favorite movie? And number seven is, what is something you, you can't do? Number eight, what is one habit you wish you could break? Uh, the next one is, what makes you laugh no matter what? And uh, number 10, what does creativity mean to you? All right, so there we have 10 questions. I would like for us to practice those questions in pairs. So let me have um, Miguel and Alyssa. Miguel, ask the questions and Melissa, respond to the questions. Okay, teacher. Um, the first question. Uh, okay, uh, the number two. What is something you're tired of? Uh, Alyssa, I think that question is for you. I think I'm Melissa. What is this? Uh, sorry, it's work uh, every every day. Okay, go ahead and ask the next question. Number three. The same people. Excuse me, teacher. I not understand. I I do make the, the, the question number three two. Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, what is something that presently moved you? And no nothing. All right, so we're going to practice the questions in pairs. One student is going to ask the question and the other student is going to respond to the questions. Ready, let's go. We're gonna practice in pairs. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, Juan and Miguel working in pairs. Juan and Miguel working in pairs.
Hello, good evening, guys. Hi, good evening. How are you? Well, I guess uh, we have to practice uh, those questions very well. I don't remember a, a good thing that happened to me in this month. And you? Well, I think that um, maybe that I paint some pictures for my clients and because I have a little business about uh, okay. um, painting. <laughs> And we are in the first, in the first question. If you want to participate, you can do it. What? I don't know if you are able to hear me. Hello. Hello. I think that I I had some problem with my internet because it's raining a little hard here. I don't know if you hear me. Yes, I hear you. Okay, we can continue with the second question. Okay, the second question is, what is some something you're tired of? Well, in my case, uh, I feel a little tired because I am starting in, in the University of El Salvador uh, well, the, the class are online, but I feel tired. Yeah, I understand your feeling because I study in University of El Salvador too. And I'm, I don't feel so comfortable in online classes. It's a little difficult to learn. And... Yeah, I agree with you because it's better to have face-to-face -face classes, right? Because we can practice with our classmates, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The next question. What is something that recently moved you? Well, in my case, I think uh, something, something happened today. Uh, Messi won the balloon door, door. Sorry, I didn't hear, hear you well. Now, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. Uh, I said that uh, something happened. To... Would you like to, to practice too? Okay, if you wish, uh, we can continue practicing. 
So now I'm going to ask you, um, give me one sec. Uh, what is something you will not be doing in 10 years? You Sorry? can, uh, you can check uh, the WhatsApp group. The teacher sent uh, more questions as well. Because on this chat, you will see only 10 uh, questions. But in the WhatsApp group, there are around 30 questions that we have. We can use to practice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. OK, I will uh, ask you again the question. Uh, what is something you will not be doing in 10 years? Mm. What is something you will be knowing? Sure. Autumn. Something I don't I don't do is actually it's something that you will not do in 10 years. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't driving think. Like, driving a car, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, and uh, what makes you laugh no matter what? Sorry? What the uh, what makes you laugh no matter what? No, encuentro. It's number nine. Number Is it the, the, the other problem? Is the third? Yes, it's on the. But may you laugh no matter what. That. Yes, laugh. Mm, maybe that. Um, I think are loud in the in the whole moment. Oh really? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. You ask me uh, one question, please. Okay. Mm. What a city you wish to visit? Well, a uh, city that I would like to visit, it's a difficult question because I would like to visit a lot of places. <laughs> Yes, too much. Actually, one of the uh, the cities that I would like to visit would be Rome in Italy because it has uh, a lot of history in that city. And actually, I would like to go to the Coliseum. And well, no different places. I really love playing soccer, so I watch a lot of soccer and I would like to uh, visit one a soccer stadium and uh, maybe go to um, Milan. Uh, actually, that's, uh, I think that would be one of the cities that I would visit if I have the opportunity. Any <laughs> <laughs> other question? Mm, well, uh, what is you, what's your uh, let's see. Is there a dessert you don't like? As ice cream, apple pie, something like that. Is it an item? It's um. It's there a dessert you don't like? Yes, that's right. It's Decent. 19. 
un, ese postre, ¿verdad? Yes. Que no me gusta, que no me gusta. Ay, I like to hot. Right, guys, we're going to go ahead and change groups. Give me just one second. We're going to change groups. We're going to change groups. Give me just one second. We're going to change groups. We're going to change groups. Just one second. Is that everybody? Yes. All right. We're going to change groups. Ready? Let's go. Different groups. Different groups. <laughs> I I try uh, to respond to uh, the question number number five because I don't write I don't write the all question I write only two questions and you. Uh, in my case, I don't know because um, I late and I don't listen the the information about this with my partner only speak in the other room. <laughs> yes, because now, um, but but for me it's necessary to uh, write the question, but. I uh, is mass easy respond because I I write that that question and you yeah in my case um I stay in my phone and my computer is is wrong I don't know what happened with with it um. Only okay, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, the teacher write a question in the chat. The number number uh, 11 is what are your favorite lyrics of all time? Um, yes, uh, we have. To read the question that the that the teacher sent in the in WhatsApp. Yeah, okay. I can I can see in the chat. Uh, in this platform, yeah. Okay, and the number.
Number one, number two, uh, three, four. This five. this num this um uh, all all this all this saga to um all uh, todas todas all of them all of them yes uh, uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the second one. What is something you're tired of? I I think uh, um, recently movie movies um I don't know but I think uh, because I I all live in here Uh, and you, Miguel? Um, maybe um, I I was in Morazan. Um, I was visiting my uh, the mother, the my wife, the, the only. Okay. And Sandra, what about you? What is the question? Sorry. Uh, number three, what ah. is something that recently moved, moved you? Okay. I understand that is, in my case, I, it's very rarely. But uh, hardly ever when the weather is how right now raining. Okay. <clears throat> um, the other question is uh, um, number seven. What is something you can't do. I can't sing. I can't drive. Okay. And you? And Daisy? All right, guys, we got to take the attendance. Give me just one second for everybody to come back, and we're going to take the attendance. Just one moment.
Did everybody finish the questions that I sent you? Do you have the questions? Did you finish the questions? Did everybody finish the questions? Yes, of course, teacher. Okay, how many did you ask? In my case, eh, all the questions. All of the questions, okay, excellent, I like that. Okay, right now what we're gonna do is we're going to take the attendance. So when I call your name, please say present. When I call your name, please say present. This is, okay, the first participant is Glenda. Glenda Margarita. Oh no, sorry. One second. There it is. This is nine to ten. I can't find this list. Okay, I got to find that list for this attendance group. Okay, so this one is 9 to 10. I don't have it. There it is. Okay. Uh, the first participant is Ana Cecilia. Present, teacher. Present, thank you. Present. Okay. Uh, Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Cristina Abigail. Present. All right. Give me just a second. Right, guys. Okay. All right. Um, Damaris Merari. Present teacher. Thank you, Damaris. Uh, Daisy Magdalena. Present teacher. Present. Thank you. Elisa Areli. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Elizabeth Del Carmen. Present, teacher. All right. Elmer Mauricio. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, Erika Maricela. Erika Maricela. Okay, absent. I'm gonna write it down. Erika Maricela. Absent, okay. 
Gabriel Antonio. Present. Very good. Gloria Noemi. Present teacher. Excellent. Juan Eduardo. Present. Excellent. Miguel Arsenio. Present. Very good. Sandra Janet. Present teacher. Excellent. Saul. Saul Arnulfo. I'm here, teacher. Present. All right. Good job, Saul. And the last one is Sergio Amuri. It's Amaury. Amaury. Present. Thank you, Sergio Mauri. Okay. So we got one person is absent, is Erika Maricela. Everybody else is present. All right. Um, does everybody have the questions? Is everybody in the WhatsApp group? Is everybody in the WhatsApp group? Thank you. I'm not sure, but... Thank you. Yes, Thank you. Okay. So everybody has the questions in the WhatsApp group. Who does not have the questions in the WhatsApp group? Okay. Everybody has them. All right. We're going to change groups. We're going to go back to the groups that we were working on, the same groups. Ready? Let's go. The same groups. Number four. Number four is the question. Elmer? Eight. Number eight. Eight. Oh, sorry. In my case, I would like to stop procrastinating. Okay. And you, Miguel? Um, I believe that is uh, procrastinating too. I'm, I'm sorry. The same uh, answer. The question is: What is what is one habit you wish you wish you could break break? The procrastinating too, because sometimes I let the anything that 
I have to do, uh, I let to to do for other moment. And so I do it the, the last time. Sometimes um, it's uh, anything very important and I prefer to play in my computer and other one. Uh, and it's a habit that I wish to change. Okay, and in my case, because I I wish cool cool I I wish cool break one habit is uh I see uh I see a very very TV very much TV and. Because I I watch only only movies, but I I see in Spanish, and I need um break break the the ha the habit because I need practice English that I see movie but in English. And okay. Daisy. Hi Daisy. Um okay. In my case, I would you like to stop pros procrastinating. Okay. And Sandra? In my situation, I wish to stop uh, thinking Spanish when I speak English because it's difficult for me always, all time. First, and when I to do a question or answer, always I think in Spanish first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. because uh, I, in my case, I think in Spanish first and I. Yeah. Uh, uh, translate in English the the question because uh, it's difficult the, for me. The English is difficult for me. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> it's the same situation. <laughs> but uh, I the, can do it. <laughs> yes, uh, I try. I try to speak English. Okay. Yeah. The, the question number uh, nine. Night is what made you love no matter that? In my case, is my cat make me love. Okay, um, Miguel. Um, when I watch videos in the my cell phone, videos to the file, file the person. Okay. And Sandra, what about you? Uh, my pet, always. When I feeling sad or angry, I I love. When I have a problem. I prefer to love and don't angry. Yeah. And you? Uh, it's difficult because I I don't know. Uh, yes, I I think and other other things because the the life is is uh, how do you say única? Unique. Unique. Um, only that. Uh, Daisy, can you say the question number ten? 
Yes. Um, what does creativity mean to you? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know, but I think um, I don't know. No, in my case, is my but the creative is. It's not for me, I, I convention. <laughs> I I convention the um, I don't know because uh, maybe maybe paint paint uh I'm sorry uh draw uh animate I don't know. If for me, it's difficult, the creative. And Miguel? Okay. The creative means for me that is um, when I when I doing anything uh, different ways and looking for a solution uh, more uh, the best solution to resolve um, a problem. And maybe the creative when I I make a paint or a draw or sing. No more. Okay, and Sandra? Well, in my case, I would add uh, with the hands and I knitting. I can add different clothes, things uh, with the knitting, and I am good at um, cooking only that. Okay, it's very good the cooking for the cat. <laughs> yeah, and knitting. Yes, yes. Um, Miguel, can you say the question number 11? Hi, Miguel. Okay, okay, let me see. What are your favorite lyrics of all time? Okay, in my case, um, in my case, um, lyrics, uh, what the meaning lyrics in Spanish? Letra, letra musical. Okay, for me, it's But but my my daughters uh, learn learn um, uh, play play the violin and I like the Beethoven music. The Nighting Symphony. Yes. I like it's great. Okay, um, and Daisy. Yeah, for me, Michael Jackson song. <laughs> Excellent. I like it. The music the my the of Michael Jackson. Yeah. And Miguel and you. I have a many songs favorite. Uh, maybe um, 
I don't remember the name, but it's a queen band rocks. Say, right. um, the lyrics say, Mama, I uh -huh. wanna be Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes, it's the, the queen, the, the Freddie Mercury. Yes. It's very good. It's very good music. And Sandra? I For me, it's difficult because I have a little, but I will try. Uh... Okay, guys, let me have two volunteers. Let me have two volunteers, two volunteers. One ask the question and the other one respond to the question. Two volunteers. All right, I will be a volunteer. All right, Gabriel and Elmer. Gabriel asks the question, Elmer responds. Uh, whenever you're ready. Go ahead. Um, what is your favorite movie? Um, my favorite movie is the the mask. Ah, uh, with Jim Carrey. Yes, it's very funny for me. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I like it too. Uh, what is your favorite movie, Gabriel? Um. Well, uh, my favorite movie is Batman The Dark Knight uh, because I like to perform for Head Ledger as I was on. And actually, the Christi Christopher Nolan trilog trilogy is awesome and everything. That's why I, 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 I love those, those movies. Okay, it's very nice, uh, this movie. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, another uh, question. I don't know. Yes. Okay. I've got okay. another question. Um. All right. Uh, let's see. Um. What is your favorite cake? Mm, my favorite cake is pie de limon. And you, Gabriel, what is your favorite cake? Well, uh, uh, my favorite uh, cake is a uh, chocolate cake because uh, I have a little girl, she's four years old, and every time that we have a celebration, she always asks me to buy a chocolate cake. So <laughs> I have to buy a <laughs> chocolate cake. And actually, it's delicious. Okay, the chocolate is delicious. Um, I I can say one one question, teacher. Uh, we're gonna stop with the questions. We're gonna watch the video now. Give me just one moment. Okay. okay. Good job, guys. We're gonna go ahead and look at this short video. Welcome to Advanced Module Two. Okay, in our everybody. First, we'll go over infinitive and gerund phrases. Everybody we here. have studied this before, but yes, don't teacher. explain it again so you feel comfortable with it. It plus be plus adjective or noun plus infinitive phrase is often used to comment on behavior. These sentences can also be restated with gerund phrases. It's rude to ignore your conversation partner. It's a good idea to try out different topics. Ignoring your conversation partner is rude. Trying out different topics is a good idea. The word considered may also follow be in this kind of sentence. It's considered impolite to interrupt people. Interrupting people is considered impolite. These sentences can also include the phrase for plus person or pronoun. It's customary for the complimenter to say nice things about others. Saying nice things about others is customary for the complimenter. 
We will begin our explanation by reminding you that gerunds and infinitives are both verbals. In other words, verbals are words formed from a verb but functioning as a different part of a speech, usually a noun. Gerunds are formed adding an ing ending and infinitives are composed of two plus a verb. In the structure just presented above, it becomes the subject of the sentence in the infinitive phrase. And ignoring, trying out, interrupting and saying are gerunds acting as subjects as well. Notice there's no changing meaning. Look at the following chart. Read it and decide whether they are using infinitive or gerund phrases. Okay, so for this activity, what you're going to do is you're going to give me here in the discussion forum, you're going to go over here, and you're going to put añade, where it says, where it says añade una publicación, you're going to go there. And then you're going to write five examples, five gerunds and five infinitives. Here where it says titulo, you're going to put gerunds and infinitives. And then here you're going to give me five examples. Five examples, original examples, using the gerunds and the infinitives. For example, I like to eat pizza. That's an infinitive. Or I like I like eating pizza. That is a Gerund. And then when you finish, you're going to go and be out. Any questions? And then your homework is going to be the next activity as well. All right, guys. It doesn't matter. I just have a question. It doesn't matter uh, if you, we use infinitive or gerunds on the questions. Both. You got to put both. Oh, okay. okay. Both. Gerunds and infinitives. Okay. I got to go, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Thank you all. Please continue working on the platform. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.